I had a vision that this would happen someday. Uh, definitely didn't expect it to happen this quickly. We were rocked up in pre-season and no one knew who we were. At the start it was interesting because they didn't know what to uh, believe, but then um, as the season went on they continued to be behind us and, um, and it's just been incredible. It's been an incredible year here. Now when we go to Woolworths, people are wearing Jack Jumpers gear and celebrating the club and obviously we're in the grand final chasing, chasing the title. Uh, you know, the underdog scenario is a, it's a nice story, but uh, to me, this story is just about a group of guys that have believed in a, a bigger purpose than themselves. Being a part of something that's brand new and building that culture and being a part of the culture, because at the end of the day, whatever happened this year, like we're, our names are going to be in history books for the first team. Our team's very unselfish. Uh, they care about each other. We talk about things that most probably locker rooms don't. We talk about loving each other, being around each other. But now what we're doing, continuing to make the page longer in the history books for ourselves as the first year has been amazing. People keep saying like, we got nothing to lose, we got nothing to lose, but there's a lot, like game three, that was a grand final to lose. And now not many guys get chances to win a championship. So we've got as much to lose as they do. Would you say the identity of this team is, is what you envision? Absolutely. And what is that? Nasty, tough, never give up fighters. I constantly remind myself, like, my parents will love me no matter what I do out there. My dog will love me and <laughs> will want pats no matter what happens. Once the jump ball goes off, that's, um, I'm at peace out there. The home game last week was crazy. Um, it was uh, like the loudest thing ever. Sunday's gonna be epic. Uh, that was a big motivator for us going into game three. We're like, we, we, we need to play in front of those fans. It's like a dome, so it's like, you know what I mean? Everybody's like right there and you can just feel the energy and feel the place rocking. We wanna see if they can tear that place down when we get that win that second game. What do you think Sunday will be like there? Oh my God, it'll be even worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll be even worse. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, honestly. The place might catch on fire. I don't know, it'll be amazing. What's keeping you up at night about Sydney? Nothing. Yeah, it'll just be a dog fight. I feel like what we enjoy as our, our team does is gonna be a dog fight. We're gonna go out there and play as hard as possible. And I, we know that they will. Um, they smacked us in the mouth the last time we played them. Sydney's got a heck of a team. They're a fantastic, talented team but I'm not staying up at night worrying about Sydney.